Hey guys, what is going on? Carter here. I have another video for you. This is another custom. This is from a maker named Will Zermino out of Texas. A lot of good makers coming out of Texas, and he's definitely one of them. I wouldn't really call him an up-and-comer. He's uh, been around for a little while now, but uh, he's definitely still establishing his name and still improving with uh, everything he does. This is his Azrael flipper folder. Very popular folder that he does. Very nice. I've wanted a Will Zermino for a long time. Um, in fact, uh, his stuff is usually a lot of people's first custom. Uh, but it took me a while to get uh, to get one of his pieces. His waiting list is just increasing and going through the roof. I think it's up to like six months now. Um, and I am on the list for another another knife of his. Now, first off, let's take a look at some of the specs. You've got a four inch blade. Overall length is about nine inches. 154 cm stone washed blade flipper as I mentioned before um, the blade stop is the thumb studs here that contacts the titanium liner and titanium lock side here is the uh, lock bar as you can see very early lock up and Will actually puts his uh, I'm not sure what you would call this per se but uh, you know this is the relief which allows you to put tension on this bar uh, he puts this pretty high. Most makers would put it down here. Putting it up this high does uh, add a lot of tension to that lock bar. Another thing that's really cool about uh, Will while we are looking here is if you notice, he's got a very decorative cutout for the lock bar, but you won't see a hinderer lock stop in there, even though it does actually have one. Hopefully you can see that. See that little disc in there with the screw? He has a completely internal lock stop which I think is just brilliant because I know a lot of people don't like the look of the lock stabilizer um, especially like the new Sebenzas that feature or I'm sorry not the Sebenza the um -nums on that feature that now um, so I think uh, a lot of people would be pleased if uh, more makers implemented something like that because this has all the benefits of uh, the functionality of it but you don't see it it's all inside on this side we have marbled carbon fiber polished marbled carbon fiber very very nice looking nice and thick the thumb studs are anodized blue as well as the titanium pocket clip which is very large and the three standoffs on the back here open construction very easy to clean it's not going to get filled with uh, get filled with gunk now I would classify this as a tactical folder and I think pretty much everyone would agree with that on me. This definitely is built as a defensive tactical weapon. Of course it's uh, still a knife and it can be used for many other applications but I'd say that's the primary one. You've got this really nice upsweep of a blade here with an excellent piercing tip. In fact like from here on I mean that's basically a, a dagger grind on the very tip there and a very thick blade stock which goes all the way to about here before it starts to taper off to this point. Really nice blade shape. Uh, kind of one of his quintessential knives, this Azrael folder. A lot of people like it. You can see his WDZ logo there with his shield and cross. This excellent stone washing on there. Done really well. Really like this knife feels excellent in the hand. The ergos on this are just perfect. You've got this great um, finger guard right here. So your hand is not sliding up and also as a benefit to that if the lock were to fail for some reason it's not going to close on your finger. Um, Strider achieves the same thing with their finger choil but by putting it up here they're cutting into their cutting length. So I'm not a big flipper fan in terms of a way to open the knife, but I do like how it gives you this feature, this nice finger guard on here. And speaking of the flipper, uh, it's very smooth, very smooth knife, opens up well. Um, it doesn't have a strong detent, so when you flip it, you do need to give it a little whack. You can actually, if you hold it completely still, you can do it sometimes. If you do it just right and do it hard enough. But uh, another thing that's cool about this is the thumb studs actually function quite well to deploy the knife. The flipper stays out of your way 
and you can get in there good enough that it's uh, it's actually quite comfortable to open it up that way. Lock up is rock freaking solid, just absolutely solid, super early. I mean, this lock bar has so much life in it, it's ridiculous. That'll last forever. So overall, this is just an excellent, excellent knife. Um, very reasonably priced. Will charges very low prices for his stuff, uh, which is kind of why he's in such demand. A lot of people, this will be their first custom is a Will Zermino. In fact, I, I think I'm going to do a video on uh, good customs to start off, to start out on. He does a, a few different models. He'll, he does black blades, he does uh, spider holes on some, some have flippers, some don't have flippers. He does uh, mini versions and things like that, so definitely open to a lot of different, different options if you uh, wanted to pick up a Zermino. Very, very nice. Just kind of give it a minute to take a look at it. Really like this folder. I was thinking about selling it, but I took it out to take some pictures and I just can't do it. I will have to come up with some other way. It just feels so good in the hand, guys. Reverse grip, hammer, saber. This jimping is extremely hard cut and functional. You've also got a nice little ramp there. And this blade shape. I just love that blade shape with this concave sweep right here. This nice, very shallow hollow grind. Very nice stuff. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Later.